You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I want to show you how to easily stream your PC games to your Raspberry Pi using an application called Parsec. Now, we're going to be running Raspbian on the Raspberry Pi 3. There is a script floating around out there for RetroPie, but I cannot get it to work with the latest version of RetroPie. It just won't connect to any of my PCs. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi 3 running Raspbian. Now, first thing you're going to need to do is install Raspbian on an SD card. It's super simple to do. You can download it from the Raspberry Pi website. You can download the torrent or the zip. You're going to flash with Etcher or Win32 Disk Imager, pop the SD card in your Raspberry Pi, plug in your keyboard, power, HDMI, and boot it up. Now, Parsec is a PC streaming application. It's super simple to set up. You will need to create an account over here. It is free to use if you're using your own gaming PC, but you can also rent a cloud-based gaming PC from Parsec itself. I'm gonna be streaming my PC that you see here to my Raspberry Pi. It's a decent rig. I got a 4790K i7 at four gigahertz with a 1060 GTX six gigabyte. Nothing special, but it runs everything I need. On the gaming PC we're gonna be streaming from, we need to download Parsec. So let's go ahead and get Parsec set up. First thing you wanna do is create an account over here. Like I mentioned, it is free. We're gonna download Parsec on our PC. I'm using Windows 10, so if you're on Windows 10, 64-bit, grab this one. If you're on 32-bit, grab this. Most of you will probably be on 64. I'm just going to download it here. I already have mine on my desktop. I'm just going to double-click. It's going to run me through the install process. Super simple to do. Would you like to enable controller support? Yes, I would. Close and it should automatically start up for us. So the guys over at Parsec do recommend a five gigahertz Wi-Fi dongle for your Raspberry Pi, but I suggest using ethernet because it's gonna be faster in the long run anyway. So I'm connected with ethernet on my Pi and my gaming PC. We're gonna sign in with the account we created. I'm gonna do that real quick. So now that we're logged in, add your own gaming computer rent a cloud computer from Parsec, or play on a friend's computer. I'm going to be adding my own. Yep, this is the gaming computer that I want to use. Let's get started. Now I have run into this issue here where my computer doesn't show up. So I'm going to go to settings, disable hosting, enable hosting, go back to play, and here's my desktop. So that's it. That's all we need to do on our gaming PC. We're going to be moving over to the Raspberry Pi 3 running Raspbian, we're gonna install Parsec there, sign in, and we can start streaming our favorite games. It doesn't need to be a Steam game, it can be any game. You could even stream LaunchBox and play GameCube and PS2 on your Raspberry Pi 3. Let's move over there now and get it set up on the Pi. All right, so here we are at the Raspberry Pi 3 running Raspbian. We're gonna make sure we're connected online. I'm using ethernet and I've also connected a PS4 controller to Bluetooth. Now there are two ways to go about this. We can do it entirely from the terminal. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Or we can go down here and download the package. We can get pretty much an automatic install. We wanna keep. I'm just gonna drag this to the desktop for easy access. Double click. Install. It's gonna ask us for our password. The password for stock Raspbian is Raspberry. All right, so Parsec is installed. If you want to enable Xbox 360 or Xbox One controllers, we're going to need to open up Terminal here, and we can paste this right in here. That way you can just plug in an Xbox One or Xbox 360 controller and it'll work. A PS3 or a PS4 controller will work right off the bat with no extra drivers. Our Xbox controller driver is installed. Now there's a couple other settings we should enable here. We're gonna go to the Raspberry in the top left hand corner. Scroll down to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration. 
Now, as you can see, I got a border around my screen here. I am going to turn under scan off. I'm going to disable it. Click OK. I do not want to reboot just yet. We're going to go back to that same menu and we're going to set up memory split. So we'll go to performance, GPU memory. We're going to bring this up to 128. You can even go to 200. I usually go to 208. Click OK. Would you like to reboot now? Yes, we would. So we're going to click yes. And now we're ready to start Parsec. We're going to open up a terminal. Right here, we're just going to type in Parsec. Press enter. User login. We're going to use the same email address we signed up with over at Parsec.com. So I'm going to put that in. It's going to prompt me for my password. I'm going to put my password in. It's going to ask me if I'd like to save my password. I'll click Y and enter. If you sign in correctly, you should get a server list. This is the desktop I set up, my gaming PC. I'm going to choose that one, so I'll press number one. I'll press enter, and it's going to connect. And I'll have full control of my desktop from here. So now, this is still the Raspberry Pi 3, but I'm controlling my entire desktop. I'm actually going to exit Parsec here. So we'll go host. This is me on my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to click kick. It's going to bring me back to Raspbian. So now I want to turn up the streaming bitrate. We're going to go to our file manager or file explorer. Home, Pi, right click, show hidden. We should have a dot parsec. We're going to open it up. Config.txt, double click. And it's preset at 10. They suggest not going over 30, so I'm going to go to 25. File, save, close it down, and I'm going to retype in parsec. Use your saved password, yes. Should log me in automatically. One, and I'll take control of my desktop here. Now I'm connected. So I'm still using my mouse that I have connected to my Raspberry Pi 3 running Raspbian, and I'm controlling my desktop. I'm going to open up Steam, and I'm going to launch Grand Theft Auto 5. It's going to take a second, so I'm going to fast forward this. I'm going to grab my PS4 controller. So we're now streaming Grand Theft Auto 5 to our Raspberry Pi. I don't know why I just jumped up on top of there. And it runs really good. So Parsec does have the option to rent a cloud-based gaming PC. I actually might make a video on that just to see, uh, you know, the prices and how well it performs. I own a lot of games on Steam. I'm sure some of you guys own a lot more than I do, but as you can see, it's running real smooth here. I've had really good luck with this compared to, let's say, uh, Moonlight. Now, Moonlight is pretty complicated to install, and hopefully they can get this integrated with RetroPie very soon. But it works great. So I usually just exit it like I would if I'm playing it on my PC. Exit game. Yes. It's going to bring me back to my desktop. And I can control everything from here. So I just want to show you one more thing here. We cannot natively play GameCube or PS2 on our Raspberry Pi 3. But we can use Parsec to stream our PC to our Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to load up Big Box here. This is the premium version of LaunchBox. I'll be able to play GameCube, PS2, and even Wii U on my Raspberry Pi 3. 
Now these don't need to be on the same exact network. I could be at my buddy's house. As long as my gaming PC is on at my house, connected to the internet, I can connect to it and play from there. Now I have not tried that, so I don't know about latency. I am in the same house on the same network here, but I'm sure it'll work pretty well. So here's Big Box. If you haven't messed around with it, I definitely suggest trying it out. I'll leave links in the description below. I'm going to go with Nintendo GameCube real quick. And we're going to play Soul Calibur 2. So I'll just launch it here. I already have everything set up on my computer with LaunchBox and Big Box. But I'm now pretty much playing GameCube on my Raspberry Pi 3. 60 FPS. It's going to run perfectly. Go ahead and exit here. And if we exit big box, we brought right back to our desktop. Now, if you want to exit Parsec, you can always open up Parsec here and kick yourself off. Or this little logo here will always be here if you do not disable it. You can hide it. You can remap gamepad or disconnect. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. It's really easy to set up Parsec on your Raspberry Pi 3 so you can stream your gaming PC to your Pi. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll also leave links in the description to Parsec, LaunchBox, and a few others. Like always, thanks for watching.